Whether you first heard this from Bill Monroe or the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, this song has become an undeniable fixture in the country and bluegrass music scenes. The simple 1-4-5 chord progression and the super catchy chorus have all contributed into making this one of the most common jam songs of all time, which makes it the perfect vehicle to demonstrate how we can layer different techniques and ideas to add some dimension to your bluegrass mandolin solos. In this video, I wanna show you six solos for this song with increasing levels of difficulty, and level one is just the basic melody like you heard there. Here in the key of G, this melody is so nice. You only have to use two fingers, and it's really easy to pick it out by ear, just like you would sing it. But if you wanna grab the tabs and the backing tracks for all these different levels, you can find them over on my Patreon page at the link below. And it's important to start with that melody first for reference, but it does sound a little sparse. So moving on to level two now, we're gonna start thinking like a mandolin player and add some repeated notes to fill things out a bit. So we'll keep the exact same frets with our left hand, but keep our right hand alternating for those longer notes to add some rhythmic pulse to the song. And it doesn't exactly matter how you repeat those notes, but it might be nice to add some space at the end of each phrase like this. We're getting there, but this is sounding kind of stiff, right? So now we're gonna take some liberty with the melody by adding in a few connecting notes to hopefully smooth things out and make it sound a little less robotic. And these extra notes are just passing tones or neighbor tones along our G major scale above or below the melody that we can add to connect the dots and hopefully create some interest. And since this is a bluegrass break, we're also gonna kick things up in the tempo department here for this level. Here we go. still not sounding exactly like a bluegrass mandolin break. For that, we need to add our secret ingredient. That's right, I'm talking about double stops. By adding in an extra harmony note above the melody using these shapes, we can get a bigger sound and start to tap into some real iconic bluegrass mandolin vocabulary. But it is more challenging since we have to hold down multiple strings and even slide up the neck a few times to get the right melody and harmony notes together. More challenging, but more fun as well. Very cool, now we are cooking, and you might be asking what's left to add, right? Well, for level five, let's think about our right hand here, and we can take things up another notch by taking some direct inspiration from Bill Monroe himself, who often used tremolo and some repeated downstroke rhythms to add some rhythmic variety to his breaks. This tremolo I'm playing has kind of a triplet undercurrent, and we can even add some extra energy to those downstrokes by adding some syncopation like this. Let's try it out. All right, before we move on to this last crazy level, Take a breather here by hitting that like and subscribe button down below for me. And when you're ready, let's move on to level six. All you pros out there know that it wouldn't be bluegrass without the blues. So for this last step, we're gonna add some bluesy licks to spice things up. In particular, we're gonna use two notes, the B flat and the F natural notes, which are the lower third and seventh of your G major scale. And we're gonna use those notes in some pretty flashy extended bluegrass licks to flesh things out and to fill in the space at the end of each phrase where the melody is more sparse. This can really help make your solo sound more bluegrassy. Good luck. <laughs> What do you think? 
Leave a comment down below if you can think of any other levels of bluegrass mandolin solos for a song like this. And don't forget about those tabs and recordings over on my Patreon page if you wanna support the channel here. And lots more stuff coming soon. Happy picking. Thank you.